first pteranodon. Oh, twins! Oh, noise, noise, noise. Hey guys, Scotty here, just having fun playing games, making videos. I am back with another episode of Ark. In the last episode, we finally got a Megaloceros, and I'm pretty happy with him. We named him the Thatchinator. Um, he's he's pretty all right so so far. I've gathered some thatch with him, but he's not perfect. And let me show you why. Um, his stats are really good with the health and the stamina, but his melee damage is not so great. It's only two. It's just barely over 200. I have pumped um, one or two points so far. I think um, I also got his health up to 2k. Uh, but ch check what happens um, when we pump his melee damage. 212 versus it was 209 now it's 212 that's almost nothing that's really really bad and that means it's going to take us forever to get his melee damage up and the reason it's important to get his melee damage is up because right now as of this moment it takes him three hits to get down a tree that's pretty unex uh, unacceptable so um, as you can see we got our female megaloceros I went up to the snow um, snow blue obelisk and got her as well as the Rex egg. We put that in the fridge. But check out her melee. She's 319, just flat from being tamed. So you know what we're gonna do, right? Breeding time. That's right. We're gonna go ahead and breed these guys. And I thought since we were gonna breed these guys anyway, we might as well and breed some more. You guys may have remembered what happened to our Dimorphodon army. Savadar, can you give us a refresher, please? So, it turns out Dimorphodons kind of suck against mate-boosted mammoths. Damn, I just lost all of them. So yeah, that happened. Very unfortunate. Really sucks. Um, so we, we don't have an army anymore. So I figured it was high time that we... Um, let's see, this is Darla. We need Darius. I figured it was high time we start breeding these guys again. And these two... Oops. Are our perfect... Well... They have... They both have the, um, the higher of the two stats. So, these are the ones we're going to be breeding. Um, Diana and Darius. So, I figured we'd do that, and since we're breeding, why not breed some more? We didn't get our preferred stats on our Pteranodons, so we st still need to get one with Tyrana's stamina, or I'm sorry, Tyrana's melee, um, Tertius's health, and Tyrassus stamina. So, we gotta do um, the perfect combination of those three. So, let's do it. I mean, why not? Um, all right, uh, let's see. Oh yes, I filled up all the troughs with meat, although some of it's spoiled already. Um, so these four are all full of meat. So this will be really good for the pteranodons and dimorphodons. And I filled up this one all full of berries. Well, almost, 57 out of 60. But that should be enough for um, a few megaloceros. Um, I, I, I'm not looking forward to saying this, but I'm being elitist here and I need the stats so unfortunately we will be killing off any babies that don't have the preferred stats I know that's like cruel it just doesn't seem right and the game is frozen there we go but I mean I need the stats and I don't really want to waste time with more dinosaurs that aren't really useful to me like these pteranodons their stats are terrible the only reason they're alive is because I need eggs which speaking of pteranodon eggs Check out how many we have now. 22! That is definitely enough to tame a turtle as soon as we find one, so looking forward to that. And we got seven reg eggs now, and I don't think we've found any more. We did find a carno egg a few episodes ago. I don't think, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and we have a few more scorpion eggs. So, that's that. And let's see. Oh, before we before we breed, um, I want to show you guys. I have been working on a few more improvements to the base as far as building. Um, I haven't really done anything here, but I have the idea. See all this space back here? It's kind of a waste right now, and I really don't like it. So what I figured I would do is, um, like I told you guys in the last one, 
I don't like this ladder being the primary way we get up and down. I'd much rather have a ramp. So that got me thinking, since I'm going to have a roost up above here in this huge building, like up there, why not use this outer space here for the ramp? Like what I could do is have it start at the top there above the behemoth gate, because um, that's going to be where the floor of the roost is anyway, and have it come straight down to the corner here, and then come all the way down here. So this, this um, one wide tile space here can just be the ramp that we get up and down. And I can have that going on both sides and then um, have it come down here and just um, connect it here. And that, when I thought of that, that reminded me of my desire. Come here, Tertius. You're fast. I got one more thing to show you guys with this. Well, I got a few more things, but next thing to show you guys. Um, down here, like I really want a way to get from here up to here really badly because I don't I don't want to have to walk all the way around so I was thinking an elevator but there's not really any place to put an elevator here at least not that looks aesthetically pleasing I could just put one on the outside here but I'm not really too keen on that so what I was thinking is since I don't want the um, the way to get up to here to be much like I don't really need it to be bigger th uh, than say for a T-Rex I think main, maybe not even a T-Rex um, maybe just a mammoth but I was thinking this whole space up at, under here would be a perfect use for um, some ramps to go up from there kinda like maybe circle up through here come around and then up through the floor here or something like that um, that way we can use this space Ooh. oh what's this huh on egg. You fell through. I'll take that. There we go. So yeah, I was thinking of using this area in here, sort of remodeling it and putting up a ramp to go up to the upper level here. And um, I mentioned to you guys in the previous episode that the elevator may not be quite correct and I was correct that it was incorrect so I went ahead and did some more work had to get some more metal um, had to rebuild most of the doors and the elevator tracks but um, thankfully I got half the resources back when I demolished the old stuff but this is it right here this is the way it's supposed to be sticking up above a little bit that way the ramp is right here where the floor level is. In fact, it's sticking up just a tad bit above the floor. What that does is for when I have big dinosaurs, when they walk across from the ceiling onto the elevator platform, they don't glitch through the ground. Like even, even coming above the platform a little bit, there's still a slight glitch, but it's not nearly as bad as if the platform was below the ceiling, which was, was the case before. So I fixed that, and uh, the thing I was actually forgetting the whole time was that my original design was to have oh can't see it now see how there's three ceilings right there that's what I was supposed to do in the first place when I redesigned it but I had forgotten by the time I put the elevator tracks in so that's what had happened I was supposed to make the ceiling go up two and then put the pillar to snap the elevator track onto so that's that and when we get ready to um, do this I'll go ahead and show you guys that as well Unfortunately, I'm going to have to take off these two top ceilings in order to do it. Um, but this ceiling right here, this is correct. I just need to make one, two more ceilings, and then the pillar that the elevator track snaps onto. And that'll make it look like how it looks over here. And it's going to be awesome. I just got to gather a ton more materials and finish it. <laughs> Speaking of finishing stuff, um, I definitely want to start working on this because with all the, um, the construction going on over here, I'm going to have to move out as far as the breeding pen and the crafting stuff. Uh, maybe not the crafting stuff right away, but definitely the breeding area right here, this is going to have to go really soon. So that means I'm going to have to start moving stuff over to here, um, which is what I was eventually going to do anyway, but I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking and figuring out how I want to set up my breeding area over here. I'm probably going to do it right here on the ground floor, but I still don't know. I got some space um, right here I could do something here and above I got 
Um, well, I don't really have space here, but I also have space up here, so I really don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to have to be figuring that out soon. And in preparation for that, I gathered up some more materials. How come that never works when I want it to? <laughs> um, I, I took all the the storage boxes out from over here because they just kept getting uh, attacked by dillos and raptors and stuff like that. And I made some more right over here. Filled this up. Did I fill it up completely? Yep. So um, this is building pieces themselves. Stone, 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 stone. Wood, wood, thatch, thatch. So this is going to be where we drop off our materials from now on. I don't have as many as I did before, so I can't make as many uh, materials in a single session. But this is this is good enough for now. Um, because I don't really need to do mass scale construction. I pretty much have finished between this platform and that building. Um, any more building that I do outwards from here is not going to be that extensive for now. Eventually I will have a huge tower, but I don't know what I'm going to put in it. <laughs> but I do want to make a tower. I think it would be really cool to have it come like way up here. So yeah, that's that. Um, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. So yeah, let's get to breeding. Bring you over here. Okay, I'm just gonna demolish this. I know where it is. Stick you in there. I need to borrow the saddle. Oh, we need to put our egg away. 23 Tyrannodon on eggs, excellent. And we can just drop all this stuff off here. Oh, and I've just been pumping movement speed on this one because unfortunately female Megaloceros are not useful for anything else except speed. So. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, in the past couple breeding episodes, I have had a little trouble with this 2x2 two two actually being too big. So, let's see if we have any kind of a problem. Naval wandering, naval wandering. Alright, hopefully they won't uh, get too far apart. Dang it, it restarted. There we go, one pregnant female Megaloceros. Nope, not that. Sable wandering, sable wandering. There we go. Uh, let's stick you guys over here. And now, um, let's get the Dimorphodons. Oh, again, one at a time, please. Now, is this gonna... Nope. Yeah, I'm still, I'm gonna have to play basketball again. Nope. Not quite. Uh, nope. Close the door. There we go. <laughs> Two points. Step up to the free throw line. Another two points. Alright. Well, that's right. I did the side door here. So. Let's see if we can get you. There we go. And while they're mating, um, let's get... Oh! More eggs! Look at that! This rate, I don't even need these Pteranodons. Anyone else? Nope. 
Oh, great. Huh. Should be close enough to Terasa. How come he's not doing both? Is that just a raptor? Is that really just a raptor thing? No. He's got to be just too far away. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's not working with the pteranodons. Oh, now it is. Now he's going back and forth. Okay, so it does work with pteranodons. And hopefully that egg from the dimorphodons will just start incubating. Because, as you can see, I'm a little trapped. <laughs> okay, now they're both finished. Grab the one. Nope. Stuck on that one. Can I still get the egg? Oh my gosh. There we go. Nope, come back. Perhaps if I just flew away. There we go. This egg is incubating good. Oh, it was too cold for a second there. How are you guys doing? Where's your egg? Uh, no egg? Is it just hiding? There it is. Incubating. Good. Um, so... Was that... 19 minutes I saw on that? That's a shame. Ready to me in 19 minutes. Yep. Okay, so we got a while to wait for that. And how are you guys with your timers? 10 minutes. I really think the timers increase the more the same female has bred. Um, because these two, well, no, these two haven't, that's weird. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've bred these two. All the ones we had before were products of the original two. Um, that's weird. Maybe, like, each generation is, it takes longer and longer to recharge? I have no idea. So that's 12 minutes on them. There we go. You all come over here and chill out. But let me through, please. Terasa, down. So disobedient. Okay. How's our female doing? Just barely. This is going to take a little while. Um, I do want to bring her over here though. We'll stick her right, right there. And now we got three eggs. There we go. Alright, well I will be back when these have hatched. And hopefully I don't have to kill any babies, but I won't be killing this baby because this baby is going to be perfect. These two, hope one of them has what I need. Alright, Demo is just about to hatch. There he is. Or she, possibly. Can I get you? Please, there we go. Oh yeah, I can't. Oh, well, that's right, I put the meat back so it wouldn't spoil. Too bad you can't pick up the babies on your shoulder. Yep, 775 and 319. Perfect. Boy, this one's eating fast. So yep, I'm going to keep feeding this one and I'll bring you guys back when these hatch. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get the stats we need. Alright, first pteranodon. About to ha oh! Twins! Oh! 
Noise, noise, noise. Okay, what's the stats? Wait, which ones were these? That's Terrassa and Tertius. So this is Tirana and Tertius? 11, 17 health. I don't think that's the high health. Because Tertius had like 1300 health. But these do have the melee. But see, Tirana's health... See, before I thought that was Tirana's health. But Tirana had 840 health, so... Is this Tertius' health from breeding? I don't know. We'll, we'll keep him for a second here. Um, I may have to get rid of them. I don't know. Come on. How close is this one? Pretty close. Oh god. This one's almost dead. Because I didn't feed it. Huh? That was close. Do you see how bloody that was? I don't know if this is the correct health or not. This is gonna get really challenging with the new the the next egg. <laughs> Alright, let's disable wandering. Disable wandering. Have just you come out so we can. Oh, oh, I heard it. Okay, what do you have for us? See, there. That's Tertius' health. But. That's it. This is exactly the same as Tertius. So. We need Terrassa's stamina. Sorry, baby. You get to starve. You look just like Terrassa, but. Your stats are just like Tertius, so punch it, punch it. This is so cruel. I don't even think I'm hitting it now. Okay, bye bye, baby. So yeah, so so all of these are a bust because with this, I don't get it. I really didn't think this was Tirana's health. I'm gonna have to look in another video. I think I'm just gonna let these... Okay, that was the other one. I'm just gonna let these die because... Like, that's not the health that I want. Keep feeding you. So yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Such a shame. Um, these guys can die, and then, yep, yeah, dead. And then the, I'm gonna go look and see what Tirana's health was in my old video. Oh, it died. So yeah, I just took a look at my old video, and guys, I just gotta say for the record, I've come a long way in just a short time. Like, I didn't, I had completely forgotten already how bad the graphics were, and how bad my recording was because it was in a whole different room before and ooh scorpion egg well, that, that was bad but yeah I looked at the footage and Tirana had 840 something health and like 870 stamina or was it the other way around something like that both both of them was 800 so I don't understand the 1100 health like it's supposed to be like the babies get the parents stats one or the other um, so I don't get it I really hope that that 1100 is not a combination of health because that doesn't make sense like if it was a combination of health and this other baby that we had here it shouldn't have had 1300 health it should have had like 1200 because that would be right in between Terrassa and Tertius's health so I don't understand um, this Tertius let's get more movement speed hmm so yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but we got our Dimorphodon, who's of course perfect, and the Scorpion Egg, and I think we'll just go ahead and breed these guys again, although the the three of them in there, that's, that's too much. 
I'm sorry, that's just too much. I'm gonna just do one at a time. Let's get Teresa and Tertius back in here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I wish you could back up with Pteranodons. See? You can't back up at all. It's dumb. So, I'm gonna get these guys to make another egg. And we'll hopefully get the 1380 stamina. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, 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 nope. Dang it. I keep forgetting to close the darn door. There we go. But yeah, we need the 1302 health and the 1380 stamina. Oh, the baby. I forgot about the baby. Gotta feed the baby. Oh, whoo! Oh, that scared me. Thank you. I'll take that. Disable wandering. And we'll just fly out of here. Let's go back and feed the baby. Get this one to incubating. And Tarana, your turn. And there's second egg. Oh, no, no. I really gotta... I really gotta disable wandering beforehand. Did I not get you? No, I didn't, apparently. Disable. I really gotta remember to do that. There we go. Whew. And nope. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Get you on out of there. Although, actually, you know what? You can probably just stay. Yeah, we'll just keep him in there. So, this one is a little bit. We can drop that one. And now it's the Dimorphodon's turn again. No, I don't want to be trapped in here. I'm trapped in here. Let me get out the other door. No! <laughs> How about now? Nope. Can you please get off my shoulder? There we go. Two points! Um, oh yeah, this was going to say. The, the baby. The baby is now a juvenile. So... He's not going to be eating anything in his inventory anymore. And he's feeding off the trough just fine. We got tons of meat still. How's the spoilage? Mm, down by two. This one is also down by two. So I think we'll have plenty. Um, oh, how's the dust chasing? Only halfway. Can you speed things along, please? Maybe. No. Do you even understand me? No. <laughs> There's another Tom Morph egg. I cannot decide how to pronounce it. Dimorphodon? Because here's the thing. I don't want to say Dymo. Just Dymo by itself. It doesn't, it doesn't sound right. D-I-M-O to me sounds like or it looks like it would be pronounced Demo. However, I do not want to say Demorphodons either. It is Di, like the the prefix for two, Dimorphodon. But I don't want to say Dimo, so I'm caught. I'm really caught on how to pronounce it. Thankfully, these are extinct creatures that, you know, scientists just create the, the the Latinized spelling, whatever, and I don't think there's any rules on how it's pronounced. I'm sure there is, but nobody seems to follow them, so. Alright, just about to hatch. There we go. Yes! Oh, there we go! This one! Oh, oh, no meat, no meat. Shoot, 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 shoot. Meat! Need meat! Okay, we got one of the two, 
which is what is it, male? Cool. So this is going to be the father of our super pteranodon. Actually, you know what? That kind of sucks because that means I'm going to have to... Okay, I may need to breed more of these guys because I need a male and a female of... You know what I'm saying? Like, if I were to breed this guy, I would have to have a female that has... Oh no, that doesn't necessarily matter, actually. Because I can just breed this guy. I can just breed this guy with Tirana till I get a tr Never mind, never mind. See, I was thinking that incest wouldn't work, but it, it, it obviously does. Oh, there's the other one. What is this? Oh! Oh, sweet, this one has it as well. So... And is, what is this? Please say it's, oh, it's male. Dang it. So I can't breed these two together, but I can breed this new guy with Terasa to try to, uh, try to get the Stam. Although, hmm. That's still lowering my odds. I think it'd probably be best. Well then again, no, that's the same thing with this one, so I don't know. Yeah, it's still gonna take a few more tries because if I breed this one with Terasa, it's very possible the baby could get Terasa's stats and not this one's stats, and I could be stuck um, where I was. But at least I got two more males that um, that have two of the three correct stats each. Oh, and we can drop the Dimorphodon egg. I just didn't want all these guys hatching at the same time. Because I had so much busy work. Alright, now the next demo is about to hatch. No. This is always so difficult. Oh! Oh! We got another Dimorphodon egg. I forgot to take these guys off. I don't want to make too many... Too many dinosaurs at once. I'm going to run out of meat. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, juvenile Speed Dimorphodon. Um, I've decided that I'm going to do like an experiment because, well, because I have five times dino damage on, um, these guys are going to get wrecked fairly easily by anything that has any kind of a decently sized AoE attack. So what I've been thinking is, maybe health isn't really the way to go, maybe speed is, because while they're, they're pretty slow on their own, if I were to pump nothing but speed, I think they might be fast enough that they could avoid most attacks. Obviously if I have a huge um, huge army of them and I still attack something, say a mammoth, the mammoth is going to hit some of them. Like, with enough Dimorphodons you can't miss. But I'm thinking like single target, uh, maybe in the caves, it'd probably be better if... oh, not this one. Um, it would probably be better if they could just avoid getting hit. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work, but that's the purpose of the experiment, is to find out. So, yeah, I'm going to make maybe 10 of them, I think, speed, and then 10 health, and see how they fare. Um, that way I can send them both into combat and see which ones die faster, the health ones or the speed ones. Hopefully none of them will die, but after the mammoths, well, I wouldn't be surprised. But I think that was mostly just because... I sent them against three mammoths that were mate boosted. Not, not the best idea. <laughs> oh, also, I dragged these guys out here because our deer, our megaloceros. Actually, are these guys supposed to be like prehistoric deer or elk? I feel like they might be closer to elk, <laughs> as far as what they are. Um, 
I'm still just going to call them megaloceroses. Um, but yeah, our females get pretty close to popping out hopefully more than one baby. Um, hopefully a male. Male is what I really need. And... What is it again? I just need the melee damage. I need... Yeah, this, this may take a couple tries because I need the health and stamina on the male and the melee on the female. So... That's gonna take. That, that's probably gonna take take a couple tries. All right. So babies are just about ready, and we need plenty of that. Let's grab a little more meat for the other guys. Top these ones off. Come on, eat one more. There we go. And for you, nope. You don't like berries. Ah, stop it. There we go. And I think this one's. Eh, we'll do one more just in case. That should be fine. Because this one only has to go to 20, because it's 204. So, any second now. Any second. Now. Maybe. Okay, so that was a bit more than a few seconds, but... Oh, look at him! So cute! imprint female no uh what do we what stats do we get looks like we got an exact replica of the female that's disappointing oh man well i don't need females i'm sorry females are kind of useless how long? 24 minutes. Yeah, this is good. definitely going to take a couple tries. I don't want to kill this thing, though. It's so cute. Look at it. Can we give you a... a painless death? Oh, I'm probably going to kill it before I knock it out. Yep. Oh... That's so... <laughs> oh, man. That's just... Ugh, no words. And I don't think... Um, we can't get any... Oh, I'm crouched. Oh, no, I got something. That's weird. I thought you couldn't get any resources from the babies unless you actually put some in. Because last time I tried to do that, I couldn't get anything. I was just sitting here... Um, whacking on a, a corpse it wouldn't give me anything. That's weird. Okay, so in 23 minutes we'll try again. And how are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. We gotta get to 7, so that one's almost a juvenile. How are you guys? Baby, baby still. 17's gotta get to 20. Well, Keep feeding. Oh, just in time. This one's a male. I am so glad I don't have to worry about getting the correct stats on these guys. Disable wandering before I forget. And more feeding. Alrighty, well, we got all of our babies to the juvenile state now. Um, and I went and restarted my game so I could see their proper colors as anyone who's watched my dimor the first Dimorphodon army video, you saw that um, when you breed them they're random colors but then when you restart they're actually a combination of the parents colors and because the parents all look the same we get the gray body with white head, white wings and green tips. That doesn't really look green though but it is. It's supposed to be green. Um, and these guys, we can see their true colors here. This one's all pink and red with some black, and this one's got the black, red, and... What, would you call that gray wings or white wings? I think... I think that's the lightest color you can get on a Pteranodon as far as close to white. Um, not, not entirely sure, but I think so. Um, and are you... Oh, yep, just now finished. Um, so we are ready to mate again. And 
we completely exhausted all of our meat from this trough. This one only has spoiled meat again. And let's see how these are doing. So we're down to 35 out of 60 with this. And still full with this, although a lot of it's spoiled. Um, so I think we're going to call it quits on breeding any more Pteranodons or Dimorphodons until we get some more meat. Um, but let's go ahead and try one more time with the Megaloceros, because we still got all those berries. Let's get in here. Tertius, sorry bud. Time to go. You probably didn't like being trapped in there anyway. <laughs> let's go ahead and put you back over here. And Thatchinator. I am so disappointed that his melee damage was that low. If it was like at least 280 or something, I could live with it, but it's just, it's not enough. Like, having to hit a tree three times to knock it down, no. I need at least two. I would prefer one. Um, but yeah. I think I'm still gonna go ahead and use him and level his melee and everything. Oh, no. <clears throat> this is not gonna work. Get you in there. Grab the saddle. Come on. Why is this so hard? There we go. So, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I'm just... I think I'm still going to keep using him for the time being and still pump his melee, but... This is this is gonna take so long to get up to a decent level, and then I'm not gonna be able to pump um, any weight, and that's what I really want to do. I really want to pump nothing but weight and melee. Although I'm still gonna have to pump a little health, um, but the stamina is great for. Was it this one? No, no, it was Thatchinator. So Thatchinator's got plenty of good health and stam. It's just the melee. The melee is so bad that I won't be able to pump weight um, very much, and. I know what you're saying, it's thatch, it's really light, but he still gathers enough wood that I want to get at least 600 weight, so probably double this, yeah. Probably double this, six or 700 would be good. Alright, let's hope for the baby we need. Alright, there we go. Sorry I missed it a little bit. Um, but yeah, we got another pregnant female. All the same one, just round two. Alright, let's stick you back over where you were. That was a pretty good spot. And get you out of here. Oh! No, 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 I forgot to take the female off Wander. You know what? I'll just stick you right in there. Nope. I am so bad at this. <laughs> there we go. Stay there. And you come back over here. Actually, in fact, I'm going to steal the saddle. I'm going to make a second one, too. Can we do that right now? Let's see what we need. I think we can. Da Vinci? Help us out. There it is. Only 11 metal. That's good. We can do it. Fiber and hide. No problem. There's the fiber. And I think we got enough hide in here, do we? Two, four hundred. Yep. There we go. Although we completely exhausted our supply. So, let's grab this and put it back in here. I always like to have a few pieces in here. Oh, we didn't even need the fiber. Oh, we'll just resupply that. And I need to go get some more pelts because my primitive fur gear, unfortunately, got destroyed. Um, I can't even remember what hit me. It was it was something. It might have been, um, oh, no, it was Dimorphodons. I, f I remember now. I was in the snow biome. I came back over here, and then I think I was killing stuff with the T-Rex. And that's when um, 
they uh, they destroyed my fur gear. Nope, not this. What am I doing? There we go. And now, you both can have saddles. Yay! Alright. How close are you? You about halfway. Come on. Only a little bit, and you even less. You guys are there, and... Oh, this is going to take a while. And how much meat? Oh, we're running out of meat. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and go out on Rex again and get some more meat. But, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and please subscribe for more videos. Um, I'm not just doing ARC now, I'm doing some other stuff. So, check it out. I got um, Master Orion, Smite, and Star Sector going on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys just see that boop from the mammoth? That was hilarious. Alright you guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a good day. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.